Today on Guess What I Found Out, we're going to discover some facts about how dinosaurs may have single-handedly given you the tropical fruit section at Whole Foods. Yeah, the next time you bite into an overpriced organic papaya, you might want to thank a 70-ton farting tank called a titanosaur. You're welcome. All right, Curious George, buckle up. Because this story starts over 66 million years ago, when dinosaurs weren't just oversized chickens, they were full-time demolition crews for the Cretaceous rainforest. Giant titanosaurs, stretching nearly 130 feet long and tipping the scales at 70 tons. Casually bulldozed forests, like your uncle with a beer belly and a riding mower. And guess what? That chaos changed everything. These giant dino bulldozers, bless their scaly hearts, constantly tore up forests for 160 million years. That's not just loitering. That's generational real estate vandalism. And plants? They adapted. Enter the angiosperms, fancy word for flowering plants who didn't come here to play. They developed something called an R selection strategy. Basically, pump out as many tiny seeds as possible and pray something survives. It was nature's version of throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks. Then came the KPG extinction event. Translation, boom goes the meteor. And just like that, the dinosaurs tapped out. No more forest bulldozers, no more R selection, and no more night terrors about being trampled by a thunder lizard. Instead, the world got quiet, really quiet. Which was great for the plants. Suddenly, no one was stomping their seedlings into oblivion. Forests regrew like introverts reclaiming their personal space, denser, darker, moody, like your cousin in his goth phase. And plants, they got fancy, they switched to K-selection. Less quantity, more quality. Bigger seeds with more 